You know, everybody, this debate's been a long time coming. Accelerated over this past weekend with Valorant and its release and the pre-beta slash closed beta coming out sometime soon for all of us. And even then this summer, the full release of this game certainly accelerated the talking point out there of what dies first, that being Mixer or Fortnite. I'll present the back points to both of these. You guys, of course, can comment down below what your answer might be. And let's start with Mixer, who we have talked about a lot. I can keep this very short, sweet, and simple for all of you. The first and foremost being the big signings that have come to Mixer every Ever since Ninja, Shroud, even throw Goth in there. And well, over the past few months, you can name zero. Besides someone like maybe FaZe Ewok drawing in, maybe a couple hundred viewers here and there, there have no been zero big signings for a platform like Mixer as compared to a platform like Twitch who has re-signed several top streamers out there. Most recently, Dr. Dis was also announced alongside Pokimane. I could name several others who have already re-signed to a platform like Twitch who continues to grow in viewership and who continues to decline is a platform like Mixer. Even look towards Mixer competition besides Twitch, that being YouTube and the big signings they have made that has been overlooked by many people out there. It's not just Courage. It's not just Valkyrie. It's tons of Spanish streamers, Fortnite streamers, Musa being in there alongside many others that are actually dominant, dominant creators and millions and millions of followers that YouTube has re-signed. Along with them, though, also signing gigantic TO rights for big tournaments out there and big leagues out there in esports, that being Overwatch League, Call of Duty League, albeit right now they're currently online, so struggling a bit more, and also Hearthstone Esports. YouTube and Twitch have made gigantic re-signings and even crossover signings. Meanwhile, Mixer, in the, in the face value of things, they have done nothing since Ninja and Shroud. And then you add in on top of all of that, the layoffs, the Mixer struggles we have talked about behind the scenes with Mixer teams. The staff over there already small for a very small platform like Mixer. They've already made layoffs. They've already had management over there talk about being the lowest morale point of all time. That's not very reinvigorating. And then of course you have the addition of even Facebook streaming is signing bigger creators as of right now. Karina Koff has done very well compared to even Disguised Toast and even Facebook Facebook has made bigger signings ever since Mixer announced their big ones. Ronda Rousey is pulling gigantic numbers on Facebook. So you look towards the primary competition of what Twitch and YouTube are doing compared to Mixer, it's relatively nothing. You look towards the morale of their team, the layoffs they are making, the cutbacks they're making. Yes, Mixer, apparently Microsoft giving every single one of their streamers 100 bucks to help during these hard times. That does not help a stagnated viewership, which as of right now, the first quarter of this year being 2020, Mixer viewership is already down approaching 10% as they get rid of a lot of their 24-7 channels, which was a big reason their numbers were actually up over the past year. It's, it's, a, it's a really struggling time for Mixer, and this all accelerated this past weekend with Valorant. I will drop you guys one number within the first hour of this pre-beta, the showcasing uh, being released. Riot's partnership with Twitch has accelerated the death of a platform like Mixer because why would you watch Ninja on Mixer when all the drops and everything you want to see is on Twitch? There was one streamer across all of Mixer who was given the same pre-beta access that all the Twitch and YouTube streamers had, and that was Ninja. Within the first hour, nearly 1 million viewers concurrently on Twitch alone watching Valorant, less than 10,000 total on Mixer. I, I don't know what else I can say. No big signings. Viewership is down. Your competition is signing bigger people than you, and the excess when it comes time for other games out there partnering with Twitch as compared to Mixer because that's where the viewership is, this spells gigantic trouble for Mixer, but Fortnite is also not much better. Let me not get, you know, too grave. I, I want to hopefully give you guys some happier news in the future, but there's no happy news coming for a Fortnite competitive scene that is also on its whims. It's been on the downfall for several months now. I can name to you guys more Fortnite pros, content creators, streamers, and personalities leaving this game than I have seen ever leave any other esport that I've covered in my time. Even Overwatch, who we saw, you know, using the offseason for Overwatch, we see nearly a dozen pro players leave. I can name now approaching two dozen people, top figures out there as well, leaving Fortnite for games like Warzone as well as Valorant. That certainly does not help, especially with Epic Games, by the way. The way they treat their competitive game is utter trash. I don't want to get into it, but we all know it. The way they treat their game as an eSport, it's non-existent and it's 
god awful. And then of course you partner that up with the fact that Valorant's here. I don't think Valorant's going to be the Fortnite killer. Certainly Apex Legends was not. But you partner that up with Warzone doing very well in the Battle Royale category. If Warzone can actually compete in a competitive nature and certainly put on events, you know, better than Epic Games does and handle their cheating issue, which maybe they won't, that certainly can combat a lot of the Fortnite audience. And I think initially as well, a ton of those Fortnite audience and especially players and pros who are leaving that game for Valorant, that will certainly show an impact as well. But when you have the TSM trio, Hamlins, Daquan, Myth, when you have Courage JD, Dr. Lupo, Cloaksy, 72 Hours, Liquid Poach, Demo, Sofa, Clank, a handful of other pro players out there also leaving the game of Fortnite for Valorant or Warzone or any other competing title, certainly as of right now, how you treat your game competitively. And we have not even seen any esports prize pools besides one or two this year so far for Fortnite as compared to over the past two years, 80 plus million dollars this year so far what five to six million dollars the drop off is extreme and certainly the viewership and player base have to be feeling that as well and so that's why i drive the argument to all of you guys what dies first mixer or fortnite i think at the end of it all the answer is quite obvious type your comment drop your comment first but my answer and i think maybe if you guys watch this channel a lot you probably know my answer i think mixer dies here relatively soon i can't give you guys a timeline if i were to guess 2021, maybe 2022. I don't see a platform like this surviving much longer because all the strikes against them are immense. They're growing. I think Fortnite can outlast a game like Warzone. I think Fortnite can outlast a game like Valorant, especially when it comes to a game like Warzone trying to combat cheaters. Fortnite does a great job of a lot of things out there, and I think this game will progress in the future. If Fortnite can survive and actually start competing again in a competitive nature and bring back gigantic prize pools and treat their esports scene just as well as they treat their casual scene, this game can survive. I can't say the same for a platform like Mixer right now. And I know there are still going to be a lot of Mixer fanboys out there and fangirls and maybe not still watching. I hope the platform does survive because I think it does bring uh, anything with competition breeds success, right? When you have Twitch and YouTube competing, they're going to compete against each other and make each platform better. I want more names in there like Facebook and Mixer and maybe Caffeine and others. But as of right now, I just cannot see it happening. We are going to have tons of content out here, guys. Tons more content about Twitch, about YouTube, about Mixer, and all the streaming platforms. And hopefully Mixer can survive enough for me to make more videos about them. What dies first, guys? Mixer or Fortnite? Until then, have a great safe weekend. Enjoy Valorant. Enjoy Warzone. Enjoy Mixer and every other thing we've talked about here on the channel. And I'll enjoy breaking it down for all of you guys. Drink your water. Drink your coffee. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.